Okay, General Motors is producing their next Cadillac SUV, and it's right here in Tennessee. We're going to show you video here in a moment of the Cadillac XT6. GM is producing the car at their Spring Hill facility. News 4's Lindsay Nance has more. Now, the reason for all the layoffs is to save money for the future of the company. Rather than manufacturing tons of different cars, they're focusing on five main models. And one of the newest models is being built right here in Spring Hill. Too much growth. Oh. You know. That's some people's reaction to the growing population in Spring Hill, which has surpassed 40,000 people. We're prospering. We're doing well, right? Continuing to add just more and more jobs. For others, it's a sign of a booming economy. And at the hub of their economic success is GM, employing more than 3,000 residents. It started out as a Saturn plant in 1990 and has grown to become the largest GM facility in North America. The GM base in Detroit announced recently they're temporarily closing three plants in the country, and now some of those workers have been invited to work in Spring Hill. The plants closing in other states are part of a bigger plan to save money to make more self-driving cars, electric cars, and just bigger vehicles in general. If people today they're buying SUVs and they're buying their pickup trucks. So uh, that just fits another uh, another niche. The Spring Hill plant will soon be home to the new Cadillac crossover. That means they need more workers. The company hopes that over 75% of their profit will come from these new cars in the coming years. No matter what the future holds for other GM plants, Graham says the Spring Hill plant is here to stay for a while. I've seen it uh, during, a, during a lot of change in time, and uh, but it just continues to, uh, you know, to, uh, to be a blessing to our community. The brand new Cadillac will be available to the public as soon as this spring. In Spring Hill, Lindsay Nance, News 4. All right, Lindsay, thank you. Volkswagen is also putting money into the volunteer state. The German automaker is investing $800 million into its plant in Chattanooga, and the move will create 1,000 jobs. The factory will build electric vehicles.